Hey guys, this is Miss Lily. I wanted to um, go over a couple things with you. First, uh, if you're working on the proofs, one thing that you need to reference to is, um, well, hold on just a second, is this uh, summary sheet. The summary sheet is going to be a lifeline for doing these proofs. Okay, so it tells you how to prove two lines are parallel, how two lines are perpendicular, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so right now the question we're looking at is how to prove that a triangle is isosceles. Okay, so this says use the distance formula twice, find the length of two congruent sides, and determine that since the lengths are equal, then it's isosceles, because you know definition of isosceles triangle means they have two equal sides. So, um, I was going to show you another way. So there is the distance formula, which is a great tool, but if you prefer to use the Pythagorean theorem, that would also work. Okay, so how do you use the Pythagorean theorem? Okay, I already have my points put on here, so I just took these points, um, 2, 10, 6, 4, and 12, 8. I plotted those points, and now I'm going to look at Um, how to use the Pythagorean theorem. So if I want to find the distance of this length right here, I'm going to look at this triangle right here. So I know that this is a 90 degree angle. I just made this triangle as a 90 degree angle. And Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I can find the length of this side either using the distance formula, using the two points given, or the Pythagorean theorem. So you can see I quickly went through um, this is 4 squared plus 6 squared equals 52 and then take the square root of both sides the square root of 52. All right, if I do the same thing on this side, I'm going to say I go from this point over here, and then I'm going to go from this point straight down. That, again, makes a 90-degree triangle, and I can use Pythagorean theorem. So that's where the 6 squared plus 4 squared, I come across 6, go up 4, and that gives me C as my hypotenuse because it's across from my 90, and again, I can use Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula, okay? Distance formula is good as well, but I just wanted to show you a different thing here. And then the other side, I went ahead and solved and found this side by going up to and over 10. So two squared plus 10 squared equals C squared. I don't really need that side. What I need to know is that these are both the square root of 52. And you can simplify those and break it down into um, a simpler form. But basically what we need to know is that these two sides are congruent. So this is an isosceles triangle. Okay? All right, guys, here's another example. Um, so the problem says, let's go back to the problem here. The problem says prove that the polygon with these coordinates is a right triangle. Okay, so you're going to go back to your reference sheet again, and you're going to say, okay, scroll up and down your summary page here, and a um, triangle is an isosceles right triangle. Okay, so there's a couple different things you can do here. Use the distance formula um, three times. Find the right triangle, the lengths of the three sides. Determine that since the length of the two sides are equal, and that the square of the length of the hypotenuse is squared to the sum of the squares of the length. So basically, see that the Pythagorean theorem works. Okay, so find the distance of the three sides and then see if the Pythagorean theorem works. Does a squared plus b squared equals c squared? If so, you're done. Okay, you prove that it's a isosceles right triangle. All right, if um, you want to do it a different way, then you can use the slope formula twice and the distance formula twice and find the slope of the legs, um, the slope and the length of the two legs. And then you're going to prove that the triangle is a right triangle, same way you did it as before, and then use the distance formula to find the lengths of the two sides of the triangle. Okay, since the lengths of the two sides are equal, um, 
it has to be isosceles. And if the triangle is isosceles and the Pythagorean Rian theorem works, then it is also a right triangle. Okay, so we'll go back here and look at this example. All right, and again, I went ahead and plotted the three points, and I have the triangle here just to make it a little bit quicker. All right, so it said use the distance formula. Well, I don't need to use the distance formula if it's a vertical or horizontal line because it's just on the grid. So I can go from here, one, two, three, and I can count that that distance is three. Same thing going straight up and down. If I go one, two, three, four, I know that distance is four. If you've heard of the Pythagorean triples, which is a big deal on the ACT, three, four, five, three, four, and five, and five, twelve, and thirteen. These are called Pythagorean triples because these are very commonly known side lengths of triangles, and you do see this on the ACT quite often. You know, ACT is about speed. And if you remember these triples here, you get done a lot quicker. Okay, so if I knew those, I would immediately know that this side would have to be 5. But we're trying to prove this, so we got to see if that is true. Okay, so I'm going to use the distance formula. This point is 1, 1, and this point is 4, 5. So I take these two points. This is my x and y for my first point. This is my x and y for my second point. This is my distance formula forgot the square there. And then we just plug in these numbers here. So I'm going to do x2 minus x1, so 4 minus 1 squared, and then y2 minus y1, 5 minus 1 squared. Simplify that, you get 4 minus 1 is 3, 5 minus 1 is 4, 3 squared plus 4 squared is 25, and then when I take the square root of 25, I do get a distance of 5. So I can check this by saying 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. The Pythagorean theorem works. That means this is a um, right triangle. Oh, and I showed you the wrong thing over on the other page, on the reference page. We're not looking for an isosceles. We're just looking for a right triangle. So we just have to prove that the Pythagorean theorem works. Okay. All right, so let's go back and see there should be prove that a triangle is a right triangle okay so you can use the slope formula the distance formula whatever basically to prove that it's a right triangle not an isosceles but a right triangle here then you just need to determine that the Pythagorean theorem works okay so this reference sheet is like I said, this is going to be, this is what you need to use to answer most of the homework for this. Okay, I hope this video is helpful and have a great day.